Welcome to today. Razvan and I are at Dave Walter. They just took the M5 back for diagnosing purposes. We're in a E65 750LI. It's a 2006. Just taking a little peek around in here. We have the iDrive knob here. There's so much stuff in this car and it's all so quirky. It's that bangle take one that he did. I think this was the first car he did. It's just really weird. Look at this. Yeah. Q intro. Okay, so there's a lot of weird stuff in here. Like that's nice and slow. Bam! Hello! Keep your keys in there, bud. It's got the six disc CD changer over there. Here's what the key looks like. Kind of different. Seat controls are over here. Heated seat memory, and then you get to pick what you control here. That's weird. Lumbar. There's just, just so much stuff in here. Like, look how many stocks there are on the steering wheel. Here's one for the cruise control. There's the one to adjust the wheel. There's the heated seat button. There's the actual turn signal. I don't even know what those buttons are. There's the transmission selector. And down here is the wiper selector. So there's like five different things that stick out of the column. That, I think, is the horn. Buttons, SDM, no idea. Sport drive manual, I don't know what that is. I have that, there's a volume, phone. This is a weird car. And then there's things like this. That's just plastic. That's cheap plastic. This is cheap, that's a cheap headliner compared to Alcantara. Back seat room is more than plentiful. We just sat back there for a few minutes. What do you think? It's big. It's huge. And it's got wood. And a weird button for the glove box as well. FO1 740LI. Different story in here. Definitely more modern BMW. I, I actually like this a lot better. What do you think? I like this one. Over the uh, E65 over there. Yeah. Except that is big. I yeah. do like the E65 that. might almost be bigger up yeah, front. I think it is. But I do like just the quality in here and the materials and the way it's laid out. There are less buttons. This car just may not be as equipped, I don't know. But there's your signals. And that's the only thing over here on the right. And on the left, you have obviously your turn signal and then your steering wheel adjustment, which isn't working because I think the battery's disconnected right there. And then inside, iPhone hookup, 3.5 mil and USB, lock for the trunk. There's all of that. There's the key. And it can be yours today. Yep, for $248,000. All right, guys, we're uh, out and about. Welcome to the vlog. We kind of pricked it up a little bit today. I don't know. Something fun. I haven't done that for a while. Walking around the CPO lot over here of Dave Walter Volkswagen. It's made of gravel and weeds. And they're trying to sell a car like that. I, I don't like that. <sighs> Dave Walter BMW. Look at that. Dave Walter BMW is full of BMWs on an actual paved lot. Oh, here well, here. Oh, there it is. Look at this. Obama, Obama can't. Yeah. What? Grandma car. I don't get it. Oh. oh my god. Only in Akron, Ohio, ladies and gentlemen. Custom paint. It's got like five air fresheners stacked on each other. Yeah. It's got a yellow interior as well. Anyways, though, what I was talking about, that sums it up. Um, that red M5. It is not on this lot anymore. It's over there. Here's the M5, the O3. And we see a couple changes with the car. First of all, the underbody lights have been removed. Secondly, it actually has mufflers and exhaust tips now that are connected. However, they're not stock, so I don't know what system it is, but now it wouldn't be that loud. Uh, interior still pretty well dipped but it is improved Whoops. it's it's improved it still needs attention desperately uh, yeah three palms pizzeria downtown Hudson beautiful day beautiful day still kind of dressed up though in the long pants and the, I got the sleeves rolled up though because it's hot um, I got my paperwork from Dave Walter down there talk about that tonight You've got the, uh, what is it, Homeland Security watch right there. Mm -hmm. Freaking right. 
All right, on my way to NTB to have the uh, the tire pressure thing diagnosed. Um, as I said before, I'm thinking it's the valve stem. I made an appointment yesterday for today at 5. It's 4.41, so I'm going to get in there nice and early for him. Uh, probably drop the car off. Roslan's behind me in the Impala, so we'll go downtown or go do something for a half hour, an hour while I figure this out. Um, we'll detail what I found out at uh, Dave Walter today later on, so stay tuned. Oh, come on, look at this jackass. Thinks he's all that. Driving his Jeep with the lights on. What's that all about, bud? Oh, the Impala, too? Uh-oh. Oh, they're going the wrong way. They're going the wrong way. Freaking morons, and there's an actual cop car. There's more police. Holy crap. I'm filming the police. It's apparently more serious than we originally anticipated. We beg our part. S4, check it out. Whoa. Oh, there's another, is that the same one? Maybe. I don't know, it's been maybe five minutes since we filmed all that go by. Um, don't really know what happened, but that may or may not be the same fire truck. It just went by very quickly. Only thing I don't like about Audis as much as the, uh, well, M, um, is the tailpipe, and that's definitely not the only thing, but one of the things I don't like about Audi as much is the tailpipes. Like, I like how the M tailpipes are all these stainless steel, perfectly round pipes, and those, they don't look like that. They're different. Guys, this has got to be, like, the signature Summer 13 song, Wagon Wheel. I love it. Thanks so much to Alex introducing me to the song. I don't know. Never really liked country before. Never had any country songs, but I love it by somebody rocker. I don't know. I love it, though. I can remember Timmy Fest, cruising down to Timmy Fest with this. Uh, I don't know. It's just a fun, fun summer song. Anyways, it's 7.18 p.m. On Monday night, we're actually going over to Brad's. We didn't get to do this Friday, so we're going over. We're going to hang out tonight. Uh, Tax man again is behind me. I went over to NTB. Did I tell you about that? They said they should have cleaned the corrosion off the wheel when they did the tire, when they put the tires on, and they didn't. So they did it for free. And now hopefully that won't leak anymore. I don't remember if I told you that or not. Sorry if I already did. Guess what? Guess what Ryan just finished doing? Was it last night that I Z6 the car? Well, tonight's Monday night, and we just did Z8. We did glass, we did stuff inside, we did tires, we did wheels, we did everything. Ooh, perfect, perfect, perfect. It feels like the M6 Grand Coupe at Dave Walter. Okay, so uh, the last clip you saw, I don't remember when it was. We went to Brad's, we hung out, it was fun. Um, now we're back. I just did all of that stuff with the car. The wheel, I already talked about that. That's done. They got like that mounting gel all over the wheel, so I just cleaned that off and did some tire shine, and now all that's perfect. Um, at Dave Walter today, they put the, let me just say, Dave Walter, amazing service today. I was really blown away with everybody I talked to. They even took me back into the shop um, to put the car up on a rack. Up, I mean, I walked under the whole thing, looked at everything up, you know, eight feet in the air, and um, they showed me exactly what it needs. And what it needs is both front lower control arms, there's two of those, um, three tie rods, outer, outer, center, and the uh, idler arm. All of that is now ordered from Turner Motorsport or ECS Tuning, totaling $677. Um, labor's gonna be around um, eight something. Um, I'm gonna let Dave Walter do it. I don't have the tools to get under the car. If I had a rack and I could get under there? Sure, a couple bolts. I could do the control arms at least, not the center tie rod or the idler arm probably, but I could probably get away with doing the control arms myself. I just can't get under there. I can drive it up on these ramps, no problem. Sure, easy. But what does that get me, six inches? I can't use six inches of space to do that kind of work under the car. So, um, the steering noise they say is the bleeding. They're gonna do a professional bleed and you know get all the stuff out of the radiator and run the, uh, the pump by turning the wheel with the hose off the pump. Um, an hour of labor for that, I'm gonna supply the fluid. That's what I gotta do. I need to go down to Summit Racing and get the Royal Purple ATF synthetic. So I'll do that. Um, and then it's gonna be great. It'll be ready for a big road trip, <laughs> which I don't have any plans for. 
But um, yeah, that'll shut it up and that'll get rid of, oh, when he had it up on the rack, he went up to the front wheel and grabbed his hand on either side and there's a considerable amount of play in the front wheel, all due to the control arms and the tie rods being all jacked up. So uh, that'll be nice to have that fixed. Maybe it'll handle a little bit tighter, feel a little bit better. And that's been a problem plaguing the car since I've owned it, but it's only gotten worse. So uh, we're gonna get that fixed. That's probably about it for today. So I'm gonna lock her up, done for the day. Rosvon's coming over tomorrow. I think we're going to the pool. It's supposed to be 82 and sunny. So, uh, awesome. Hope you guys had a great Monday. Good start to your week. And we'll talk tomorrow on Tuesday. Good night.